Hi guys, we are back in the Mecca Gold Gym, Venice Beach, California. I'm here with Robbie Robinson again. Hi Robbie. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Great, can help it. Um, today I observed your back workout and I wanted to know how, how did you create your back? What is special about your back workout? No, my, what I've learned to do is, you know, since I've been in bodybuilding, thinking back into the old days, is learning how to pull with my elbows and, and keep my body, my back parallel to the floor. If your knees are slightly bent, it takes all the pressure off your lower back, and then you create an upper back arch. And you learn how to pull with your elbows and contract the muscles in the upper back, hold two seconds, lower, hang for two seconds. Um, it's one of the most important things you have to learn how to pull with your elbow and squeeze, lift the chest up. When you're doing all these different uh, things, it's all talking about this body position. The greater the body position, the greater that muscle group is going to look. So I see people a lot when they are doing this long pulley rows, they, they lean back, right? Yes. Uh, I think one of the reasons of that is they think if they lean back, they're going to develop a bigger back. But what you're going to do, you're going to develop big, better arms. You're not going to really develop any back muscle. So the most important thing I say is to keep your chest, you keep your, 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 the bar low to your body, you lift your chest up and you squeeze all the muscles in the upper back. And you let your body go forward, let the weight control it, and you squeeze consistently. The more you do this, the bigger and more muscular the back is going to become. Yeah, and I think that the guys take maybe too much weight and they cannot handle that. Yeah, exactly. Weight is, is important, but weight is only important if you can progressively do that exercise, that weight correctly, upper back arch, breathing, pulling with the elbows, uh, letting the lats stretch, you know, putting all the tension on the back muscles only, not on the bicep or, or, or the shoulder. You're trying to develop your back. Um, so today I, I saw that you started with chins. Was this a coincidence or are you planning that consciously? I've always planned to do that. Sometimes I'll save them for the end part, sometimes I'll do it at the very beginning. Because what you want to do, you want to warm up all those inserts, all those little small muscle groups. They actually give you the fire and the energy to go in there and really do probably deadlifts or cleaning jerks, barbell rolls, T-roll bar. All these different exercises actually help build the overall mass width, shape, and size. So I always try to space to start with my chins or in with my chins. Yes, yeah, so I figured out I am already tired after the chin. So my fear was that I cannot handle high weights in the other exercises. But you say that is not bad. I can reduce my weight. You can always reduce the weight and perform the exercise better. The technique is actually what actually build that muscle to the, to, the, to, the, to the greatest that you really want to, 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 to develop it. And if you're not doing this, then it's just like really wasting your time. I see people pulling, leaning back. I see some people upright doing rolls. I mean, but you gotta have that back parallel, back arch, you have to have that. That takes all the pressure, place all the pressure directly on the lats, the overall width and size. Think about Dorian Yates, think about Lee Haney, think about Robert Robinson, think about Franco Colombo, who's one of the guys had one of the best backs of all time. So you have to think and look at what these people are doing actually to develop this incredible bag. So a tip would be that you say take one plate less and do it slowly and squeeze and a great technique. Exactly. Without all of that, you're just really wasting your time. You're not going to have a, a great bag. It takes a lot of work. It's a big muscle group. I mean, you've got to make sure you're getting all the right fuel to help develop that muscle. And another question to the chins, would you recommend me to do more reps or should I take um, weight? What I believe in is this, you got to be able to at least do 10 reps, okay? Mm -hmm. What I try to do is back and front, five for the back, five for the front, contracting that muscle, holding the body up, the same as you're doing behind the neck, pull down to mm -hmm. the front, to the back. And I think the more you emphasize these kind of things, uh, exercises and techniques, the more incredible and muscular the back is going to become. And I learned to do 15 sets. Basically, I try to do anywhere between 15 and 18 because it really is a big muscle group and you want to hit all those little small muscles plus the overall mass and twist and the lats. The lats is really not a big muscle, but you have to kind of put more emphasis on it. I think chin starts that. 
so you would recommend me to we talk here about maybe three to four exercises I said three I to do? four exercises no more than 15 to 18 sets I maybe mean, you get in a bodybuilder say the heavy competitive mode then you might switch around and do 20 18 19 20 or uh, super set maybe chest and back together but I think 15 to 18 should be sufficient Okay, um, I want you to ask if you sh can show me one exercise. Yeah, barbell rows, from what I'm seeing, is definitely really not even a part of a lot of people's uh, rapport anymore. Because everybody's doing this exercise where you got the bits reversed and they're upright. But you're not going to really build any kind of back with that. You might hit a little trap, maybe a little upper back, but your biceps is going to get the majority of the work. So I'm going to demonstrate how you should be doing barbell rows bent over even with the reverse grip and also with the normal parallel grip. I'll definitely demonstrate that exercise right now. Yeah, thank you. What I'm seeing everybody doing, if they'll reach down and grab that bar in the reverse grip, they'll come up to this position and they're up here. To me, I can't really see anything out of that. Now, if I'm down here and doing that, one of them, two, Parallel. Now that's how you're supposed to do that exercise. With the reverse grip, I do probably five sets of tens like that, and I go back and forth reverse grip with the Roma parallel grip. The more you're in the parallel position, the body is down in that position. The knees are slightly bent. You're pressing up the heels and the balls of your feet. The curvature is in the lower back. You're looking up and you're pulling with the elbows and squeeze. Each time you pull that ball and look up, you're just gonna track all the muscles in the upper back. Uh, I think that most guys really um, take too much weight and they are not capable to hold this position. It's, it's difficult. You, you're not gonna build any muscle trying to muscle something. The body is not prepared for the exercise. You have a progressive feet built the strength to do the exercise. So it's a progressive thing. The more you increase the weight, that's gonna to shift to something else, especially if you don't know how to do the exercise correctly. It's very important to do barbell rolls, long pulley rolls, T-roll bars, barbell curls, tricep presses. You perform these exercises with a certain rhythm and feel of actually the muscles carrying the load. And if you're not doing this, it's just a waste of time, really. I think this is typically for the golden era time that they um, used um, free weights instead of machines and mm -hmm. today people go more and more in these machines. Maybe today we have more, more machines on the market, but that seems to be um, a difference, right? Yeah, I, I think the machines play a role, but if you really, I think seriously, if you're really trying to build muscle, it's bar pills and dumbbells and cables, sorry. The machines are kind of a rest time period for me if I use the machines. It's basically to give that muscle a different feel or put my body in a different position. But barbell roll, T-roll bar, long pulley roll, chins, wide grip, medium grip. It all plays a role in hyper extension. All these exercises must be performed to have that incredible back. I remember in, 19, in the 70s, one of the most awesome pictures I've ever seen was my own back. I was amazed. We were actually supposed to be filming for the shoulders, not, not really the back. And to see the back picture was, was astonishing. And I still think it's one of the most, even when I see the picture now today, I'm like so proud that I put so much effort and work into that exercise. You can be proud. So it sounds to me I have to work, right? Oh, you got to do the work. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much you for too. your time. Bye. All my fans, Bye. have a good one.